What is up, you guys? I'm Charmix, and today I'm gonna be reacting to the history of my hair by Jaden Animations. Now, this is gonna be a uh, <laughs> difficult video to react to, just because I'm not showing my hair, so I don't necessarily want to give all the information away regarding my hair. So uh, when I'm gonna talk in here, I'm gonna try to work my around, way around words, I guess. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see how this reaction goes. But anyway, with that being said, uh, make sure you guys go subscribe to Jane Animations. Don't need further ado. Let's begin. Hair is most often one of the most defining things someone can have to distinguish what kind of person they are. Artsy. That's, that's very true. Very, very true. Like, you see someone with jet black hair, kind of like Justin Bieber style. Probably a goth. Sophisticated, Asian, bald. Hey, did you know that you're bald? Yes, thank you. My mom is a hairdresser, so I've been lucky enough to never have to worry about haircuts, ever. Free haircuts for life. That's the biggest positive to having a hairdresser as a parent. Unless your parent doesn't give you special treatment. There you go, sweetie. I love you. Oh, you're so handsome. And that'll be $20. And some, that'll be 50 bucks. But mine does, so that sucks for you. I've never had anyone else cut my hair, and it wasn't until I moved to California that I realized I didn't trust anyone else to cut my hair. Like I said, hair is something that makes an impact on first impressions, and if you get a bad haircut, it's pretty much expressed. You didn't trust anyone else to cut your hair? I understand that, but I mean, at least go, like, look online, look at reviews of hair cutters, and make sure you go to a place that's, um, you know, good. Because at least that way, you, you can have some kind of trust. You, you know that they do a good job normally, right? Hello, nice to meet you. Yes, I do make bad decisions. I've got really dummy thick hair, and a lot of it. People often give me compliments on my dummy thick hair, but it's really not as great as you think. It's like Senior Pillow or Senior Pillow. It is. I'm sure there's a bunch of ways I can style it to be really cool and nice, but I was cursed with not giving a crap, so most of- I like that video game, uh- Referencing. I need a haircut that's just naturally good 99% of the time because if it's not then what am I gonna do about it? Just feel dusty that day. That's what that's the yin to the yang of having a hairdresser parent Since my mom did my hair every day growing up I never learned how to do anything good with it myself and now I'm out of the nest uh, I guess I can see how that can be a problem, you know, it's good while you're at home, but when you move out, the bottom falls out under you, right? Stand at the mercy of the hair gods, armed with no skills whatsoever. So that's why I was really nervous about going to a new hairdresser at first. How is a random, highly trained professional stylist who's been doing hair for 20 years gonna know anything? <laughs> my mom knows what I like. But I went to a really good place, and they did a good job, and I like it. It looks exactly the same, and like I didn't spend more money than I should have to get it done. The style I have right now is pretty generic. That's crazy, and you're in what? You're in LA, aren't you? She's in LA, isn't she? She's in either in LA or friggin' Arizona, and I don't remember. I think she mentioned she was in LA. Generic bangs that swoop to the side and medium length with layers. I'd also like to mention how it doesn't do the weird tufty swoops like this in real life. I don't know how I ended up drawing myself like this. Also, literally no one can draw it, and they complain to me about it when they try, so sorry about that. But something you probably didn't know about me is that I have an undercut, and you wouldn't see it because it's hidden when my hair is down. I'm super sneaky like that. I've had it for probably a year and a half now, and there were two main reasons why I wanted to get it. One, because I was getting bored with my hair and wanted to do something different. And two, because I have way too much hair on my head, and it was driving me insane. Oh my god. Jaden, you should try the haircuts that, like, you know, the people, like, cut off half the hair on the head, something like that. I remember that was really popular when I was in school. It just needed to go. It takes half a day to dry if I take a shower in the morning, and if any slight breeze hits it when it's damp, it'll puff up uncontrollably. You can see my hair sheds much more because they're like long dark snakes all over the place. It looks like the girl from the ring ran back and forth down a single <laughs> path in my house. They also travel like burrs in the wind. I don't know how they do it. I'm pretty impressed with them actually. My roommate will find hairs in their room and clothes. Friends will find them in their house when I've never been there before. There's probably a ra- That's weird. ...radius around my house that's just contaminated. Scientists have found that you're never more than three kilometers away from a Jaden hair. So getting- Yeah, it's very annoying when your hair falls out and just gets in places you don't want, like food! Like food. That's the worst. ...an undercut, while not a complete solution to my hair problem, was helpful because now I just have less hair to lose. I'm content with the hairstyle I've got <laughs> now. It's gone through a lot growing up. For most of my childhood, it was pretty long and straight. You can see that when James and I watched my childhood videos. There was one time in sixth grade where my mom accidentally cut it too short and it looked like a coconut, but we're not going down that path. 
Like a bowl cut? Today. My mom always wanted me to do fun stuff with my hair, so she'd always be like, let's do something cool with your hair. And I've been like, no, I'm fine. I like being average and having no attention grabbing features. But in freshman year of high school- I can, I can understand that. I mean, if you're a very shy person, you don't like people looking at you, because that's how I was in school. Did not like people looking at me. Even now, I don't like people- I don't like attention, really. Which is ironic, because of, you know, I, I make YouTube videos. But in school, you know, I didn't want anyone looking at me. I didn't want to draw attention to myself. So I can understand that if you had crazy hair, then you'd draw more attention. Well, I was like, new school, new me, let's do it. So we put two streaks of red in my hair, which I thought was really cool. Dave, I'm coming for your brand. Twice. That lasted maybe half a year until I wanted to change the color of the streaks, so we went a little further and made them purple into pink streaks. Then after I got bored of that, we went even further, and instead of having the streaks, we made the ends fade into purple into pink. I like that one a lot because you could see the color more often. Then in college, I changed from purple into pink into just into purple. It was more subtle, but I liked it a lot. It was probably- very more so, I can barely tell the difference. Why'd you stop doing the crazy hairstyles? My favorite of the color styles I had. Everything was great about the colored hair, except not because it was annoying. If any of you have had colored hair, which I'm assuming statistically at least one of you have, because it's the internet and- I'm, I'm, I'm sure a lot more than one, Jade. I'm sure a lot more than one. Probably like 30%? Ish. And we're quirky. Then you know the hell of maintaining colored hair. Right after you get it done, you take a shower and all of a sudden the dye is staining the water and the bathroom and literally everything. Goodbye, white towels. I never trusted you anyway. You go to sleep with damp hair. Oh, I didn't know the white pillowcase I own is actually a quarter purpley pink exactly where I put my head. Now it's time to dye the whole pillowcase. Dye, if you just dye it the color of your hair, then there's no problem, right? <laughs> but yeah, I never dyed my hair. I didn't want attention. <laughs> but I can see how it would be a problem. Especially if it's like, yeah, bleeding. After like a week or two, it starts just straight up looking bad. Everything's faded and it looks like an ugly straw that isn't a color. So you've got to go back to the salon at least every month to assure people that the ugly- that's gotta be very expensive, going back every month. Straw isn't a decision you made, and it actually does look good, I promise. And if your hairdresser isn't your mom, then sucks for you. That's at least 200 bucks. Exactly, that's a lot, that's a huge expense. Like, that's like having a full-time, I don't know, hobby of some sort. Box literally down this purple stained drain again. I'm not here to say colored hair is bad and not worth it. I enjoyed it a lot when I had it. I'm just mentioning the law of equivalent exchange that comes with having really dope looking hair. Would I have colored hair again? Probably not. Do I regret when I did have it? Probably not. I had fun and got it all out of my system and now I like having my natural hair color again. When I hear something probably gross, Total, total side note, I hope this does not ruin your day. I read recently, this was in the news, that statistically, I think I'm correct here, don't, you know, don't quote me on this, but I believe a cancer study came out and women that dye their hair have a higher chance of cancer. I hope that doesn't ruin your day, go look it up, but I believe that study just came out within the last couple weeks. No wait, please don't leave. One time when I was a kid, it was Sunday morning, and I went into my parents' room to watch cartoons on their TV. And as I got onto their bed to get comfy, I felt something weird and tickly on my leg. So I looked to see what it was, and somehow one of my mom's hairs was thick enough to pierce through a shallow part of my skin and out again. So it was like I sewed my leg with one of my mom's hairs. It didn't Ew. really bother me, I just pulled it out and- Wait, it went- wait, it went through your leg? I didn't even catch that. I thought it went through like a sheet. It went through your leg? How? How weak is your skin? Or how incredibly strong is your mother's hair? Kept watching cartoons, but I still think about it every once in a while. <laughs> I think my mom's Hercules. I like my hair. I wish I knew more about how to style or do stuff with it. I'm kind of intimidated by my hair because I don't want to make it look bad, so I'm content with just having it do its thing most of the time. And if it's bad, it's only like 50% my fault. Luckily, I can draw it in any way I want, and you'll never know if it's- <laughs> Aw, poor Ari. Messed up or not. I want to know if any- Anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. I really enjoyed this. Uh, Wait, is she naked here? What the freak's going on there? Okay, I'm gonna have to censor that. What, what the hell's going on there? If you guys want to check out, see what I'm talking about. At 6.22 in Jane's video, there's fan art, and it looks like she's freaking naked. I am so confused. Alright, whatever. <laughs>
I like this video. Um, surprisingly, I didn't have to give any information about my hair, so I'm glad there. But yeah, I didn't really do anything crazy with my hair uh, like when I was a kid. Uh, you know, I didn't dye it or anything like that. I just didn't really see the, the need to. Or I didn't really have a want to dye it either. Uh, I was more focused on, uh, like, fitness when I was younger. You know, and instead of spending $200 a month on uh, getting my hair done, I would spend probably, like this through all throughout high school, I'll probably spend upwards of 100 a month on fitness related stuff, whether it be pre-workouts or, I don't know, protein shakes. Uh, you know, I've wasted a lot of money over the years on the fitness stuff. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed this. I hope you guys did as well. Uh, make sure you guys go subscribe to Jane Animations. That link's in the description. If you're new, hit subscribe to the family. And uh, yeah, with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Boop. I still can't believe your mom's hair went through your leg. How does that happen? How does that happen? I don't understand. How thick is your mom's hair and how sharp is it that it can stab someone and go right through their leg? I don't understand. That, that, that blows my mind.